Well, that was a fierce debate, a heated showdown as President Obama and his Republican challenger Mitt Romney met on stage for a fiery second round in a town hall style debate. With just 21 days now until election night, the pressure is on, especially for the president who was looking to make a comeback after that lackluster showing at the last debate shifted the polls in Romney's favor right across the country. Tonight, both candidates came out ready for a fight, and here's how it all happened. Candy, what Governor Romney said just isn't true. It was a real scrap. From the outset, both men went on the attack. Mitt Romney hammering home his basic campaign theme. The president's policies have been uh, exercised over the last four years, and they haven't put Americans back to work. This time, President Obama was ready, attacking crisply and frankly. And Governor Romney says he's got a five-point plan. Governor Romney doesn't have a five-point plan. He has a one-point plan. And that plan is to make sure that folks at the top play by a different set of rules. Within the first That's 20 minutes, as they argued about the, the president's record on energy, they almost seemed to want to wrestle each other. And we are now reletting them so that we can and, actually make a profit. And production on, private, on government and land is, is down. No, it is Production on government land of oil is down 14 percent. And production what on gas is, is down 9 percent. It's just I, not true. It's absolutely true. They Look, no really question, don't like each other. Mr. President, and have you looked at your pension? You know, I, I don't look at my pension. It's not as big as yours. Again and, and again, the clearly a strategy. The president essentially Governor called Obama, Romney dishonest. Yeah. Not true, Governor Romney. Let me come true. back. And That's not true. Romney was something of an alpha really male released. out there trying to take command of the sure stage and the time, once even silencing the president. You'll get your chance in a moment. I'm still speaking. Overshadowing this debate, looming over the town hall proceedings. We're running out of time. The game-changing first encounter between these men two weeks ago. Mr. President, you're entitled as a president to your own airplane and to your own house, but not to your own facts. Romney was crisp, clear, and energetic that night, even as he baldly reinvented himself as a bipartisan moderate after campaigning for a solid year with a very different message. And I fought against long odds in a deep blue state, but I was a severely conservative Republican governor. But in Denver, on that debate stage, President Obama failed utterly to counterpunch, looking down, avoiding eye contact and any real confrontation, disinterested, even disheartened. Uh, I said that I'm not a perfect man and I wouldn't be a perfect president, and that's probably a promise that Governor Romney thinks I've kept. The repercussions of that night have proved tectonic. We're taking back the White House. Thank you so very much. Thank you. On the campaign trail, Romney is generating big crowds and new enthusiasm. Republicans are stoked. Key groups, especially women, are moving into his camp. And he knows why. I had a debate about a week ago. I enjoyed that a great deal. I gotta be honest. President Obama, stung by criticism and some self-criticism, has ratcheted up his intensity on the stump and is drawing big crowds, too. I still believe in you, and I hope you still believe in me. We'll finish what we started. And the president's supporters got a bit of a boost from Vice President Biden, spirited to Republicans' over-the-top debate against Paul Ryan. With all due respect, that's a bunch of malarkey. <clears throat> Obama himself made clear to Diane Sawyer he, he knew what he had to do tonight. Is it possible you handed him the election that night? No. You're going to win? Yes. And tonight, you could see that determination, a competitive fire. Governor, you're the last person who's going to get tough on China. Romney didn't back down, and he adroitly turned the debate back again and again to the grim statistics you know of the Great Recession and this Policies lagging recovery. Worked. He's great as a, as a, 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 as a speaker. And, and describing his plans and his vision, that's wonderful, except we have a record to look at. On Libya, Romney may have stumbled, claiming it took the president 14 days to recognize the attack that killed four Americans as a terrorist incident. I, I, I think it's interesting the president just said something, which, which is that on the day after the attack, he went to the Rose Garden and said that this was an act of terror. You said in the Rose Garden, the day after the attack, it was an act of terror. It was not a spontaneous demonstration. Is that what you're saying? Please proceed, Governor. I, I, I want to make sure we get that for the record, because it took the president 14 days before he called the attack in Benghazi 
an act of terror. Get the transcript. It, 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 he did, in, in fact, sir. And at the very end, but with President Obama winning a said, coin toss and getting the last word, said, he used it to hammer Mitt Romney on his infamous comments victims? about the 47 percent of Americans he described as victims. Think about who he was talking about. Folks on Social Security who've worked all their lives. Veterans who've sacrificed for this country. Students who are out there trying to hopefully advance their own dreams, but also this country's dreams. I want to fight for them. That's what I've been doing for the last four years, because if they succeed, I believe the country succeeds.